Is in place. Please welcome. Thank you. Too well. And if the path we've created may be impossible, it will only be impossible for us to break. Our ability to see what others cannot will not be enough. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. But if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who can files will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge. Responsibility comes in the thing. First of all, is that Dumbledore's father no, or we can't. grandfather? You know, the four founders, I suppose. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year, I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today.
Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars. He needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. No. <laughs> it is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Of course she won't listen, she's a dumb kid. I mean, good. Every year a well, student sees generation. something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to, mm. Professor Rick. Oh. Oh. I was so pleased. Maybe she did something or she didn't. The dark arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. That's suspicious. Yeah. I must say, I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Not bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Please have a seat. Isadora. We are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. 
I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. What is pain watching? Okay. Isadora. It did indeed. Of course it did. Goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Not everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? I mean, Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! But as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Mia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some <clears throat> kind of pain. In. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Hello? Is it Dora? Is it Dora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Percival. What is it? 
it is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neep was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession and secrets? We won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set. Down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Oof. No, he was the smartest one of all of you, honestly. <laughs> Jesus. 